What is going on guys? It's me Zane back here doing another episode of Clash Royale. But guys, in this episode, I have a deck that basically has won me three times in a row. I know you guys probably are like, what? Just three times? You mean like it actually won you three times in a row? But yeah guys, it actually won me three times in a row. This deck is that deck. It has Goblin Barrel. Skeleton Army, Arrows, Minion Horde, Spear Gobs, Witch. The Witch is a key point, by the way, um, in this deck. And uh, the Wall Breaker. Slash Bomber. You know, it throws the bomb now. But anyways, guys. Um, and then the uh, Lightning, not Zap, that you guys might think. But anyways, guys. Uh, we have ten members now, I believe. Ten members. In the last, uh, and I beat Rudy. Um, he's one of my friends in the task force and in real life. I beat him finally. Um, and then I was doing a little bit of bragging. But anyways, guys, this ain't what the video's all about or this episode of Clash Royale. As you can see, it is a 2-1 deck. It could be a 3, um, you know, like, like this one. Like the first ever battle was 0-3. I didn't like it at all, and uh, it just, it was terrible. So I'm going to show you guys two replays, and I'm going to go with a live attack, and then I'm going to see what is up with this deck. So, good luck. Um, you know, I'm getting into this little bit of seriousness um, when you're facing a lot of, you're facing your player, and you're thinking that you're going to win, but sometimes it's not like that. So here comes a giant um, skeleton, Valk, to uh, tank for them, and I'm like, shoot, okay, let's weaken and throw the minions in there. Um, it will get a few hits onto the tower, but we will walk away victorious um, with only having a lack of uh, one um, spirit gun. So, which gets tossed down and it gets destroyed, and of course, everything goes down. A lot of hits on his tower. Um, he does have more hits than me, but I'm not worried about it. Because once he gets my tower, I get his tower. And then we just, you know, meet in the middle somewhere. Um, sometimes it's just debatable, um, how you, how you are as a player, honestly, guys. Um, for some of you that might have watched my channel or haven't and, like, are coming into my channel and, uh, saying, you know, Zane is, uh, you know, is this guy realistic? You know, I am. I am, honestly. Uh, I will tell you straight up. But, to be honest with you, Valkyrie just whacked off my, uh, um, everything. The spear gobs. But anyways, here comes, uh, a, not even an army. Uh, see that elixir going everywhere? And no damage onto that bomber. We did take the tower. I mean, I failed to mention that we did. And uh, here comes Skeleton Army, and um, a counter uh, comes in my face right there, as you can see. And uh, it just goes crazy. It's like, wow, did you actually do this, or did uh, something else happen to you? Um, lightning uh, to take half of the army down that he had with that big push. He takes the tower in a savage way, I believe. Um, you know, Bayou Bam Bamboo. You know, he takes the tower in a bad, bad way. Um, I think it's, uh, savage. But it's fine. That's my opinion. Uh, if you guys agree, tell me in the comments. You know, that's how it is. But, guys, anyways, with this deck, buy to all those troops, apparently. And I went ahead and, uh, I saw that, so I was like, okay, let's just, you know, make a push. Um... Those goblins can't really do anything, so I was like, shoot, Valkyrie. We can't really do anything with this deck with a Valkyrie, but we can counter it um, in the range. Arrow takes most of them. We're having a duel, um, and mine wins because it's a, uh, and we're in overtime, of course, and uh, mine wins because it's level 3. I've been upgrading that um, guy, and boom, 
big explosion, but I'm okay. I'm saying okay. I've done this before, and I'll just put down another witch. You have a level one witch, and I'm not worried. Um, and then I was like, dude, did you really just do that? And he, I, apparently he said, yeah, yeah, of course I did. And I was like, shoot, can you actually be realistic on me? Um, but here comes my uh, skeletons. They're splitting up, which um, does help a little bit um, on that right side because he has half an army. Um, half of spear gobs and stuff. So I'm, I'm like, okay, we have uh, 45 hit points. So I'm like, yeah, since he did that to me, I'm going to go ahead and do it back. Um, you know, revenge hurts, don't it? Uh, and over time, six seconds, it could have been a draw, but I was like, no. No, not going to happen. Um, Zane ain't going to allow it. Uh, Zane was not going to allow that. We do have a um, super magical chest right there, and a giant chest, and then these uh, silver chests that don't really matter. Um, but let me get on into this um, second replay um, for you guys uh, right here. Um, up against Big Daddy, and uh, he's a level 8 player, so I didn't know if I was going to win or not, but this just goes to show that this deck is a very, very good deck, and um, honestly, it is, it wins, okay? It, it, just like this guy's is from the Sa Savage Clan, um, I just took that as a joke, but hoping, I'm baiting, look, I'm baiting the arrows, I'm going over here, testing him, seeing if he has arrows, and uh, just going with it, saying, okay, does he have arrows? And now he's pushing up with the hog rider. And I gotta, I gotta do something. I can't just let him walk into my, um, you know, past the lava um, bridge and all, and just take out my tower. So I'm like, I gotta, I gotta counter somehow and uh, get this done. So I'm like, here comes barbarians. Shoot, I don't have barbarians, but I can counter um, those barbarians as well. Um, Big Daddy is a level eight, and I'm a level seven. I'm almost a level 7. Um, that will be an episode probably in two days or one day from now. Um, because I am pushing up in uh, trophies as well as we speak. And uh, I, I, beyond the episodes and beyond the videos of Clash Royale that I release on my channel, you know, it's debatable, guys. And uh, it has me do a lot of things. And um, apparently I think that he wanted me to take that thing. Um, honestly, I think that he wanted me to take that, but here comes a hog rider, and, um, you know, with this deck, an, a hog rider is really, really damaged, um, and it's hard to defend it, but I just let him have it, um, honestly, I just let him have the tower, because I knew that if I can counter enough, um, just like the goblin barrel that just got placed to, uh, take out that, um, musketeer and weaken his army, and I went ahead and uh, just went ahead and just let him get the damage and uh, oh, just dropped, you know, ambush, right? Ambush on those archers, taking down the archers. Now we got a problem, not really a problem. And now we got the minions and uh, that's a good distraction. I'm on that side. I go ahead and, and arrow those, uh, that minion horde there. Um, so I can get some more damage onto his uh, king tower. I throw the goblin barrel. It does some damage as well. Here comes the um, skeleton army. Hog rider, of course, again. Yet again, a hog rider comes up into play. And he's like, what are you even talking about? Like, are you going to do something? It don't look like it. Not even phasing. But anyways, guys, as you can see, it's going to be uh, very, very good. Um... Just like the uh, sneak peeks that are coming out for Boom Beats. They're going to be very, very good as well. Um, here we go with the Barbarians. Musketeer, I take it down. Clutch. Clutch, man. He's like, wow. Did you really just do that? Yes, I did. I did, Big Daddy. I took you down. I took you down, bro. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and live attack with this deck right here. I'm going to say that it is the witch deck because the witch is used more times than ever. Um, even though um, I will show you what it says on my profile um, on in a few moments and after this live attack. So with this deck, we got a lot of uh, 
We got a lot of things going on with this deck, and uh, and uh, it's a lot of stuff that I can do, and um, it's crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, arrow and goblin barrel his uh, team, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and uh, that's gonna help me out with it, uh, with that giant and those. Um, man, that tower just went down, and that is a um, you know that that didn't even help me at all, guys. Um, it's not, honestly, it's not even helping, and, uh, that's what's going on. So, Musketeer, I have my witch going down, and I'm about to, uh, conflict a army here, and, uh, and that's gonna help me out here. So, I'm gonna get a bomber, and, uh, I'm gonna try to, uh, actually, let's not worry about the bomber, and, uh, let's just let him have, um, you know, his fiesta, um, on that right side. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, just, you know, weaken that left side. And uh, as he did take my tower in uh, the earlier um, ages, he did take my tower. But I will be trying to get that back um, right here. And here we go with the giants and, um, you know, a good counter I need to have. But I don't even have it right now. Um, that's not going to help me. He's going to take the tower, and this could be a loss. Um, this could be a loss, and um, yes, it is going to be a loss. GG. GG. I'm not going to even do anything because that's a loss. That's basically, I'm going to go ahead and do it again, but I am going to show you what it says on my profile um, because that's how it is, and, um, you know, here we go, and uh, 4-0 deck, it's pretty good, but let's go under the profile. Um, it says that my, the Skeleton Army is current favorite card. No, no, it's the Witch, because it's used more times than ever, and uh, that that's the honest my honest opinion. DJ, we're going up against him. Um, he's in the uh, D-Zilla Re. Okay, um, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, Dezilleries, uh, boom and boom. He's probably gonna arrow because that's looks like an arrow deck. Yes, I'm right. And uh, here we go with um, we gotta get ready for a uh, you know, a little bit of a um, helping hand right here. And um, I gotta uh, okay, wait a second. All right, minion horde, probably gonna arrow again. Um, honestly, he's probably going to arrow again, but that is okay. I'm going to wait my elixir out and uh, just play the game how it is. So, just waiting, just waiting. That's all I'm doing right now. Um, dropping my witch so I can do that. And um, here we go. What is that problem, bro? I still got power. I don't know why he's doing that. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm going to... Um, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I am going to wait. And I'm going to arrow. I'm going to arrow just because you're level 6. You shouldn't be acting like that. But that's how they act, guys. That's how um, they act, honestly. Um, a level 6. You know, he's a level 6 and he's acting like that. You know, it's kind of funny. Um, but I shouldn't be saying anything because... Um, the, the people in my clan are lower level and hot, some level 7, so, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a witch, get some, uh, distractions going here, and, uh, why did you split? <laughs> that just, that spear gob just split. He's like, bye, I'm out of here. Here we go with the, uh, uh, Skeletons, and we're going up against um, Goblin Barrel. I'm going to go ahead and drop my bomber, because that's going to help me out in the long run. Uh, minions Horde right there, that's going to help. Yep, um, right there, that's going to ensure that that goes down. But I'm still um, debating what I should do with this. Even though we have a lot of stuff we're doing, and uh, we have a lot of things that's going on right here. I'm going to hurry up and get that bomber down. And, um, get that thing going. Um, right there. We take the tower. And I'm gonna focus on this side now. Switch. Um, I'm gonna go for that king tower, actually. I'm gonna go for the king tower. I'm gonna do it. 
and uh, GG Will game, man. That's going to help me out a lot. Three wins and one loss in this episode of Clash Royale. Um, that's good. DJ is speechless, speechless man. 25 trophies. Um, honestly, that's the, like, that's, that's basically what happened there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please do use this deck, um, if you guys feel free, um, feel free to do so. And if this is your deck, go ahead and use it. If it ain't your deck, um, I understand. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.